Hey folks, welcome back to Gaming Garbage. So sorry about that delay, I've been having some launch issues with Twitch now. Yay! It's been so fun uh, using Twitch. But anyway, nothing's ever perfect and that's alright. Especially when it's free. But hey, we're going to go through some more Project Wingman today. We're going to go through some more campaign missions. Um, probably not as many as last time, it's already pretty early in the morning. But I did want to give a little bit of info on Project Wingman. And I think it's actually quite impressive for what it is. It's not an amazing game. I, I'd give it a 3 out of 5. Um, I did encounter one bug so far uh, in Conquest mode. I had completed the objective, but it didn't register in the game. So there was no way to actually move on to the next mission uh, because it didn't register that I'd finished it. So that was a bummer. So I basically had to, you know, fail the mission in order to move on and start over in conquest mode. Uh, and then sometimes, too, the visuals are kind of messed up. Sometimes visuals are poking through each other or they're not quite loading in right. And there's some pretty cheapy uh, visuals as well. The whole game is only like 5.5 gigs. It's not very large at all. Um, this was made for Xbox One, but even Xbox One games were, you know, 40, 50 gigabytes. Maybe 30 if they were kind of smaller, but yeah, this is only 5.5, so this is like a 360 game um, in, uh, visually in graphics. Some things look pretty good graphically, like the airplanes. Um, the audio is usually pretty good. There are also some audio bugs. So again, th the game isn't perfect, and that's why I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. But this is how the project started, and this is what actually has me pretty impressed with the quality that it's at. So it's a combat flight simulator. Um, it was designed by three people. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Three people. Um, they used Unreal Engine, I think an uh, earlier version of it. And then um, it actually started as a Kickstarter. So they wanted to raise like $35,000. They got up to 114000 Uh They didn't develop any cutscenes for it because that wasn't originally a part of the plan. Um, but uh, they did have a little bit of a delay with releasing it. It was on PC first in 2020, and then it came to uh, Xbox in 21. And uh, man, three people, and only two of them being developers... Because the third guy is for music. That is truly impressive. That is truly impressive. That, that kind of blows my mind. Um, and uh, Sector D2 isn't even, doesn't even show up as a studio on Wikipedia. There, there's nothing about it. Again, it's just, you know, two or three guys. That's it. And they, they made all this. Um... And in my opinion, I, I do think it was a little praised too much um, when it first came out and it was reviewed. It, again, it wasn't reviewed by everybody. Um, but the people that have played it have, uh, this game has exceeded their expectations um, with, uh, w with what it's been at. And it's another fun game to play if you've already beaten Ace Combat. Visually uh, and graphically, and performance-wise, Ace Combat is freaking amazing. So, uh, but yeah, just for three people making this game, this is truly impressive what they've done. And the game is incredibly small, so, I mean, we're always fighting for hard drive space, and it'll probably fit on your drive. And right now it's $25. If you wait for a sale, I picked this up for twelve fifty, and this is definitely worth twelve fifty. So I just wanted to give that little shout-out good job to the company the small little studio actually building this and doing this because I am truly impressed I mean I actually had a, a viewer tell me that earlier that it was just uh, three people and I was like holy smokes are you kidding me that is crazy three people made this see so yeah, I'm truly impressed I wish there was more passion like this in the gaming space.
One of the vast advantages that the Federation has over Cascadia is their absolute control and logistics routes. Factories and states that we can't even touch are pumping out equipment and supplies for them at a pace we'll never be able to match. However, they all have to get in the country somehow. The Federation supply train is one carried out mostly by air, now that the eminent domain is intercepting cargo ships coming into Federation ports. Civilian traffic has remained largely the same thanks to Federation communication protocols. The reality of this conflict has been kept hidden at courtesy of the Solana communication facility in the Aitor Desert. This mission is as follows. Mercenary and Allied pilots will be dispatched to various points along the airways, knocking out Federation logistics aircraft and grinding their resupply efforts to a halt. By striking in broad daylight, we can openly challenge the Federation when they think they're safe. Remember, it's imperative that no civilians are harmed in this operation, so engage carefully. Careful's my last name and safety's my mom. Let's go, Monarch. I'd like to touch down before lunch. Yeah, all air target. 9.30 in the morning. Well, we'll at least have the element of surprise. Yeah, I still like the 16. It's a fun one. We got the 18. Ooh. We could unlock the 18. Um. It's definitely better, but I think I'm gonna. S I think I'm gonna continue to save my money. Cause yeah, the 16 is actually pretty good. Let's see, it's all air though. I don't know, this would be pretty nice. Not quite as maneuverable. But still pretty good. And it's cheap. And I think for now I'll just stick with what I got. Yeah, I've truly been enjoying the campaign. And I love Conquest Mode. Man, if they had Conquest Mode in Ace Combat... Oh, that'd be great. And the only thing this game is really missing, in my opinion, is the co-op. Dude, if you could have a co-op Ace Combat sim, that would be so fun! I would miss that so much. Oops. No big deal, right? Seven enemy target convoys tagged. Engage with caution. Hey, we've got two military jets off of our four o'clock. What gives? You will see the amount of military hardware I'm here today. Escorts probably. Fire shoot, fire shoot. Monarch ready to fire. Enemy down, good job. 
<laughs> well, uh, that's the end of that. Yeah, I thought I had enough clearance, but it was slightly turning, and that was the end of me. Hitman team, you're arriving in your AO. Tagging civilian and Federation air traffic now. That's a lot of air traffic for a war zone, Galaxy. Watch your fire when taking down these transports. If any bystanders go down, that's on us and the Independence Force. Roger, Dodger, Galaxy. Looks like it's just me and you. No big deal, right? Seven enemy target convoys tagged. Engage with caution. Hey, we've got two military jets off of our four o'clock. What gives? You will see the amount of military hardware in the air today. Escorts probably. One thing I wish too is is that the lighting was done a little better. I think the lighting is is done really well, and um, I enjoy it for the most part. But sometimes there's washout, and like I can't even see, yeah, even on my um, informational display, I can't even see stuff. I can't, yeah, and it's it's tough to see sometimes. That's another very small complaint that I have. Yeah, the clouds or the sun, and it just gets it just gets washed out, which is tough. Missed those guys. Where are they? I have it right there. Crap. Two of them. baby.
<laughs> oh, this game's so fun. Yeah, three people with a hundred thousand dollar budget, that's pretty impressive. And they worked on it too for quite a while. Several years. You'd think the uh, civilians in the aircraft would feel the turbulence and concussion waves out there, or they'd see it out the window, you know? That's a lot. Have the feds been lying about the war? They're moving an awful lot of manpower. Most obviously. Is that what that says? And I don't want to focus on that one. Threaten it, all right. No doubt of that. Bad guy. Probably was. Yeah, so far the audio has been working pretty good on Twitch, which I'm thankful for. But yeah, like I said earlier, I've had some launch issues now. Right, it'll start, but it'll be really delayed showing up on the app, or it won't show up at all, so... I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Ooh, where'd that come from? My guy? I got back there. Oh, yeah, he's back there. Let's see, I'm coming behind. 
behind. Like I had a small little bug there too. Well, let's try again. So far, it's just been little simple mistakes. Yeah, I'm not going down because of missiles. I'm going down because I'm hitting stuff in the air. All that flipping open space, folks. And I'm hit, hitting stuff in the air. <laughs> it's insane. Okay. Like no big deal, right? Seven enemy target convoys tagged. Engage with combat. Hey, we've got two military jets off of our four o'clock. What gives? You see the amount of military hardware here today? That's what's probably. Monarch ready to fire. Nice shot. Close. Oh yeah, boy, I was closer than I thought. Monarch Fox Two. Hitman One within gun range. Kind of crossfire up here. 
Ooh, I got him. Escorts are vectoring into engage. Look past them and hit those transports, hey man one. planes, but they're really hauling. Too, baby. Come on. Want that flipping transport. Monarch 
ready to fire. guns. Those do pack a punch, don't they? Got a few left.
Man, are these two bugging out? Look how far they are from everything else. There they are. Oh, that makes sense. Kill confirmed. This is the Federation gunship Gladius responding to the attack in the sector. Deploying. Oh, yeah, bring them off. Airship Gladius and. Interceptor specialist. How many are there? Oh, a few. Come on down, folks. I'm ready for a fight. <clears throat> Let's get away from the civilians. One of them, come on. You, you guys are in some souped up F 15s. This is way better than the 16. Yeah, they definitely got really good turning radius. This is, uh, this is insane. Might have to, uh, woo. Yeah, I might have to break off. Try to get some distance. Yeah, no kidding. I definitely realize that, but thank you. Woo! One of them's gone. Baby, come on. What kind of a move was that? Did you see that? Oh, yeah, they all missed. Dang. Yeah, I gotta get some speed. Come on, catch up. Taking much more. He's almost done. Come on. Oh, my, my buddy got him. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. My buddy got him. No, that's great. Are you serious? Are you serious? I gotta do it all over again. Oh my word. 42 minutes and I gotta do it over? Gosh, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is horrible. Oh, man. That is depressing. Oh my word. Man, what time is it? 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I got to call it there, folks. Unfortunately. Oh man, I was right there at the end of the mission. Oh, that's brutal as crap. <sighs> oh well. Well, if you guys are enjoying the channel, come on back. I'll have to I'll have to try to finish mission 8 later. Yeah, 45 minutes and I uh, still haven't beat it. Oh man. Uh yeah, and I, every time I went down, it's because I hit something. Every time. But I gotta fix that. Gotta get better. So anyway, if you guys are enjoying the channel, go ahead and give me a follow and all that good stuff. I'll be uh, continuing on with Project Wingman. I didn't expect to like it as much as I do. And uh, I wish there were more Ace Combats out there, but I'll be continuing with this. Um, you can follow me at uh, YouTube or on Twitch, whatever floats your boat. Twitch is Don't Tread on Thee, and then YouTube is at Gaming Garbage 22. So, hope to see you guys there. Uh, let's see, we're going to be... Uh, man, I want to get to Atomic Heart, but it feels like there's more things that are just pressing. Um... Yeah, Atomic Heart's on the list. We do Dark Souls. We're go I'm going to be doing Project Wingman. Um, I, uh, we got gaming news coming out later this week, or next week, now that today's Saturday. Sunday, actually. Today's Sunday, right? Or no, it's Saturday now. Okay. So yeah, we, we're going to have um, uh, gaming, gaming news coming out later uh, next week. And then uh, we've already done two segments uh, that were in more detail for gaming news this month, for last month, excuse me. Uh, one of them was why Redfall was such a failure, and the other one is the Call of Duty mod and Cease and Desist from Activision. So each one of those is their own separate video. You can take a look at those. And then um, uh, my wife and I, we actually just bought It Takes Two. We already played through it once and enjoyed it. Uh, it had some good tips for marriage in there, uh, which was great. Um, but yeah, we're willing to go through it again. And um, it's basically free marriage counseling. Uh, if you guys are unable to play the game or get the game yourselves and and uh, play it, or just you guys are not game-oriented whatsoever, um, you guys can watch it on the channel. So uh, we're going to be going through each chapter and then um, throughout um, or at the end of each chapter we're going to talk about our own marriage and how the lesson relates to what we've experienced and what we've worked through as a couple. So we're hoping that that can help somebody in the future um, but yeah we really appreciate it. It takes two and even though our marriage was still pretty good it was just kind of fun to work through that with my wife and uh, and go through the game and um, just kind of focus on our marriage a little more. And, and it even led us to talk about some things um, that we didn't expect and uh, help to make it even better. So we hope uh, we hope out that'll help out some of you to actually see that. And oh boy, I think that's it for now. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.